In this video, we'll learn a very common annoyance on Windows operating system. When you try to edit a file that is in C program files or C programs files x86 or Windows directory, even though you are an administrator, Windows will not allow you to edit this file. So let's take an example. I'm at C drive. Go to C program files x86. Uh, let's go to maybe Notepad++. And let's say I would like to take a look at one of these uh, text file and I would like to add it just a, a part of it okay so I'm going to just add a line to it and if I go to file and save it is going to ask me to save as this file and if I click save uh, yeah it'll ask you to replace it but then this is the error that comes which basically says you do not have permission to open this file I see the owner of the file or administrator well Probably you are owning a laptop or a computer and you are owner or administrator of this, this particular machine. So let's see how we can fix this. Now I have some notes here. And so we just looked at uh, uh, this common annoyance of error where you, even though you are an administrator or owner, it will not allow you to edit certain files. Uh, usually these files are located in C program files or C programs files x86 or C windows directory. And by default, Windows does not allow you to edit these, even if you're an admin or owner. But there is a very easy fix. Now, if you're editing any source code file, you can actually use Notepad++ uh, to open this file and edit this file. Now, if you don't have a Notepad++, uh, check out my channel. Uh, I have a video about uh, how to install Notepad++. It's a free open source and, and it's a very powerful text editor. And so let's go and open the file that we are trying to uh, edit, which readme file in uh, Notepad++. All right, so I have Notepad++ open here. And for simplicity, I'm just going to drag and drop it here. All right, and let's try the same thing. We want to just add a new something in here. So, right. And now we are going to try to save this. Now, if you remember, when we tried to do that in Notepad, it just said that you do not have a permission to open this file, right? So let's try and see what happens here. So I'm going to click Save. And Notepad++ immediately uh, notices that this file is actually in a protected mode. And so uh, it can allow you an option to open Notepad++ in administrator mode, all right? So if I click Yes, it will actually bring up that Windows admin uh, uh, a, a window where you have to accept that you can you allow notepad plus plus to open in administrator mode okay so i'm going to click yes and uh, you may not see it but i'm going to basically it's going to ask you that do you want this app to make a change in your device so i'm going to say yes and now this particular file is open in administrator mode now how do i know this and so if you take a look at the title right here you can see right at the end, there's this administrator in this uh, square bracket, uh, which tells me that the Notepad++ application itself is in administrator mode. And so now that we are in an administrator mode, it should allow us to open and edit any of the files that are there in C program files or C programs files x86 or C windows. So if I make this change, as you said, as you saw, and then if I'm going to click uh, save, you can see that now it does allow me to change these files. All right, so it's a very easy and a, and a quick fix uh, to edit any source code file or any text file uh, in Notepad++. You don't have to do anything special. Uh, it just opens the application itself in administrative mode. Now, one caution that I would suggest when you are trying to change some files is make sure that you don't change or edit a file that you do not fully understand or you don't know about. Uh, because these files are sort of in a protected mode because it can cause some issues in your op operating system. And so make sure that you don't change some DLLs or something that you don't really understand. Uh, and you, if you really st still want to add it, uh, make sure that you take a backup of that file uh, before modifying. So just in case if something goes wrong, you can always revert it back with the backup. Right Now, there is a, a more, more generic solution to this kind of a problem or this issue where it doesn't allow you to open and add it a file in these folders. Uh, and basically the way in which you can fix this is you allow that folder to have a, a 
to have you full access to it. And so let's try that. So I'll go back to our Notepad++ folder. I'll go one level up and I'm going to right click on Notepad++, go to properties and go to security. And currently, uh, even though you are sort of an owner of this computer, you don't have a full sort of uh, permissions. And so click on add it, click add. And whatever uh, username that you use, uh, just use that. Uh, for me, it's Summit C, so I'm going to click OK. And right here is my, uh, 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 my account. And if you look at here, it says that is it does not sort of have a full control. And so if I click on this, click OK, and click OK. And now this entire folder has a full admin access. And so anything inside this folder, you should be able to open with any application and add it. So if I go inside, let's try again with the readme file. And this time I'm going to open in Notepad. And I'm going to remove the changes that I made. If you remember, these are some of the lines that we added. So I modified it. I'll go to File and click Save. Now, if you remember previously when I tried this, it actually did not allow me. So let's try this. And you can see that it actually is allowing me to save this because we have given uh, our username a full access to this particular folder. And so any folder in this particular, sorry, any file in this folder should be editable. So let's try another, for example, let's say change log or maybe for, yeah, let's take a look at, yeah, change log, that's fine. And open in Notepad, Notepad again. And let's uh, just add modified, okay? And then I'm going to go to File, Save, and you can see it does allow me to change. If I close it, if I reopen that, uh, the change that we just made should be there. So right here, you can see it. And so this is how you can fix the issue when Windows does not allow you to open a particular file in a specific folders. You can either use Notepad++, uh, which itself has administrative mode, or you can actually allow that particular folder uh, to have a full access so that you can basically add it, any files within that. Again, as I said, just be cautious about what you change because it can have some negative impact. So I hope you learned something new. If you did, uh, please click on the like button and check out my uh, channel. I have a lot of videos about how to make you a better programmer. And so if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you.